Hey Gemini, welcome or welcome back to my channel. This is going to be your general reading for the week of July 16th through the 22nd. So let's just jump right in and see what messages we get for you. And I'll be honest, while doing your pre-shuffle, I got a lot of cards for love, relationship, pursuing new relationships, just a lot of interesting things in that pre-shuffle. So just wanted to mention that in case it comes up because have a feeling this might be about relationships okay we have nine of swords at the bottom of the deck some of you may be worried or anxious or um you know maybe you are thinking worst case scenario about something but honestly i feel like you need to let go of those negative thoughts because everything that i'm seeing here is looking very positive if anything i feel like some of you have been through a lot of challenges in the recent past that you can't help but maybe think about worst case scenario even when you um are, aren't seeing anything wrong in the picture you know what i mean it's almost like even when we're experiencing really great things because of what we've been through because of our past our traumas um, our experiences we can't help but see something and because we want it so bad and we want it to work we just automatically go into worry mode because we don't want to lose it and we end up kind of focusing on the wrong thing so i feel like your challenge if anything gemini is to not allow those negative thoughts to infiltrate the very positive things that are happening at this time so we have nine of cups knight of pentacles three of cups and the two of pentacles I feel like you're going to have a decision to make here. Um, and it feels like a very welcoming, uh, very pleasant uh, situation that you're having to decide on. It's almost like you're choosing who it is that you want to spend your time with um, on a given day. Like you're being invited maybe to multiple things, right? And you just have this choice where you get to choose who it is you want to spend your time with. And it's pleasant because normally, um, you know, when we think about decisions, sometimes we have to decide between letting something go, choosing one thing over another, but it's like usually within a context of difficulty or struggle or challenges, but it feels like this decision is just simply choosing from between one pleasant thing and another pleasant thing, you know? So it's a very, um, it's like no matter what you choose, it'll be good. It'll be enjoyable to some degree. With the Nine of Cups, Knight of Pentacles, Three of Cups, and Two of Pentacles, I also feel like there's a lot that has to do with you being confident about the way this is going to go. Almost as if your feelings about this have a direct influence on how the person you're dealing with perceives you or how you are perceiving them. For some reason, I feel like um, this is you having an opportunity to show your um true colors or it you know i'm getting the the concept of first impression for some reason so maybe you are getting the chance to spend time with somebody for the first time and the way that you carry yourself seems to be very important as to how they perceive you and what happens next so when you are kind of spending time with somebody or you know you want to make an impression just be yourself i feel like there may be a need to let go of the pressure of not being good enough or not being perfect it's almost like spirit wants you to know that no matter how you present yourself if it is you if you are being authentic and not trying to be anyone else then people will see that they will feel that and perceive that you are as exactly as you are so i feel like there's a need to just be confident in that the way that you carry yourself the way that you um, are approaching the situation because it does feel here with the knight of pentacles that you're kind of walking into something new um, you're opening yourself up to a new experience or something is being introduced to you and it's almost like a really good chance that you don't want to miss out on simply because of your own you know perceived fears or anxieties about yourself okay but definitely with the two of pentacles really good decision that you're going to make here um again because it's like no matter the outcome the, the fact that you have a choice to make that makes you feel good so there's something very um empowering about that decision if that makes sense so let's go ahead and clarify that two of pentacles all right we have seven of swords at the bottom of the deck so it feels like when it comes to that decision again the challenge um the challenge remains that you need to let go of those self-deceiving thoughts right the the concept that you're not good enough i feel like the seven of swords is really talking about the lies that we tell ourselves um because we're trying to anticipate worst case scenario and we want to be prepared or because we're trying to humble ourselves or 
because we simply don't believe that we're good enough. For some reason, I feel like your challenge at this time, no matter what this is about, Gemini, is to let go of completely every single negative thought or, you know, belief about yourself that just simply doesn't allow you to thrive. Maybe right now you're going through, maybe some of you are going through imposter syndrome, right? Maybe you've started a new job or you're in this new position and, you know, you want to do well. And so maybe you're, um, you know, just kind of worried that you're not going to perform the way that you normally do. I don't know. I just feel like the Seven of Swords, it, it really comes through to me as not necessarily having to deal with deception from another person, but within yourself. So just kind of letting go of those lies. Um, but to further clarify the Two of Pentacles, we have Queen of Pentacles, Temperance, and the Star. So there's actually a lot of hope here. For some of you, it's a matter of time. Some of you need to realize, okay, yes, you make the decision, but maybe in time, you will see exactly what it is that you want to see. For some of you, it's belief within yourself. Um, I feel like there's a lot of hope here because you're trying to remain optimistic about something that is stressful. Uh, but overall, I feel like you have a lot of potential. I feel like there's a new opportunity here that you're walking into. And for some of you, it has a direct connection to how you feel about yourself and your overall success. Almost like you attaining this would automatically make you feel successful. But some of you are needing to realize that the journey is what really um, dictates, you know, how it is that you are, I don't know, capable of I'm I'm just I'm having trouble explaining it because I feel like some of you are focusing on the wrong thing as to validate yourself. I feel like a lot of you don't realize that you being who you are and going through this process and staying the course that is enough. You don't need to attain something ex incredibly specific or luxurious in order to be successful. You know, I feel like this is um like a reading for the ego. You know, sometimes we we focus on the wrong things and we give other people or other things too much credit instead of giving it to ourselves first so i feel like queen of pentacles is saying be confident in what you can achieve and what you can do without having to add something to that you know don't let your um value be represented by something outside of yourself I'm not sure why this is taking me here but for some of you maybe you needed to hear that hmm all right, let's clarify the Three of Cups. Yeah, for some of you, I'm also getting the phrase performance anxiety. So maybe some of you are afraid that when you're in a certain situation, you won't perform the way that you want to, and then that will lead to someone thinking differently. I don't know, but I really think that you need to give yourself the benefit of the doubt. Three of Cups tells me that whoever it is you're connecting to, they're going to appreciate you no matter how you perform because it is you that matters, not the performance. Some of you need to realize that in order to move forward, you have to accept, um, you know, the reality of who you are. I feel like you're putting too much value on something else you know that's that's kind of what i'm getting here it's a really weird reading but i will say that sometimes um, i really do enjoy these because it's almost like i'm tapping into the subconscious you know uh, but let's see we have five of wands the lovers which is your energy and seven of swords and here it is again it finally came out those self-decepting you know de self-deceiving thoughts making up more uh, words here um, I feel like with the Seven of Swords, Five of Wands, that's that like very inner conflict that we have when we're um, uh, in front of someone that we're really interested in, that sometimes we are our own worst enemy because we try to be so perfect or we try to come across a certain way that really isn't us, but we're doing it because we think that maybe that will give them the right impression. I don't know, so many weird energies that I'm getting Gemini but I feel like with the lovers this is you needing to realize that you are enough the way you present yourself the way you carry yourself you are enough you should not have to change who you are just to appeal to a certain person or group you know it really feels like maybe you're feeling the pressure to change in order to move forward with that right there's something about you maybe feeling like you need to adapt in order to fit in but i don't think that that's the way to go i feel like you being yourself is how you're gonna attract the people that deserve to be in your life in the first place you know all right let's clarify the knight of pentacles
ace of pentacles at the bottom of the deck so that's that new opportunity that i was picking up on some of you could be trying to acclimate within a new work environment maybe you're working in something new or working with people that you know are not maybe like you or maybe you feel um that you need to be like them in order to really be deserving of this I, I don't know but i really think that this new opportunity it was given to you for a reason you deserve it because you are you um there's something about you needing to just appreciate that and not change who you are if if you're acclimating and you know maybe things are moving slowly or maybe you feel like you being different is going to make them more welcoming or whatever this is i feel like the answer is just no just keep being yourself we have three of swords four of pentacles and the hermit so this is Virgo energy. Um, let's see, with the Hermit, I feel like maybe um, you have a desire to isolate from a certain group of people or a certain energy in order to really focus on what it is that you actually care about, which I think is, you know, your abundance, your success, all of that. Uh, but you're having to kind of get out of your safe zone or your comfort zone in order to appeal to something but you know deep down inside that that's not what you want to do so i feel like really what's happening is you're having these realizations that what you really want is outside of that and it's in, in it's within a lot of you are realizing what i need is within me i don't have to get out of my own way just to please others because that actually leads to me hurting myself so honestly gemini this is one heck of a really deep introspective reading because i really think that you're tapping into a lot of things that you didn't think were there uh, because you were just so focused on getting this new opportunity you were just trying to make this happen and now that you have made it happen you're realizing okay everything that i thought i had to do to keep it it's not necessary i have everything i need within me and if i need to isolate and just be um you know in my own zone if i need to be comfortable in order to get things done then that should be okay i shouldn't have to put myself in these uncomfortable situations just to um appeal to something that is already mine you know what i mean this is this is quite an interesting one i would love the feedback on this one because i really think that there's a lot going on here um, a lot of different things happening but overall fascinating read gemini if you like this reading and it resonated please give it a like please subscribe and i will see you in the next one